excellent performance against a Halifax team in the National League. What do you take away from a game like that? Well, the fact that we've, we've played so well. I thought we, we, we were superb. Uh, bit of a 1-0 battering in all fairness. The only negatives would be obviously the injury to Isaac again. Um, um, the fact we've not we've not added, you know, to that to that one nil um, lead that we've had for for quite a length of time in the game. I thought we were brilliant. I thought we moved the ball as we do. To be fair, um, used the width of the pitch really well. Got worked on quite a bit. We're getting runners off the ball. Um, we saw that plenty of times. Um, but I thought our possession, you know, when when and they've got good footballers. You know, when when, when they had the ball, the the, the, the quickness of how, how we won it back, um, the aggression on the front foot, and then committing bodies. Um, it was great to see because were the things that we talked about. So it was a really pleasing performance. You know, really good against the side. We've lost a few of the main players from last season, but a team that finished in the playoffs in the league above, uh, but still had some top players on the pitch. Uh, one thing we highlighted on the commentary today was the press seemed very switched on. When one player went, there was someone supporting them. When you compare that to Halifax, one went and they sort of went on their own. Has that been something we've worked on in training? Is that something you're impressed with and being pleased with how they've implemented defending from the front? Well, I like to think everything that you see on the pitch, Tom, is, is, is what we work on. You know, none of it's just a flu where it all just comes together. Um, hours and hours spent on the, on, the, on the training pitch, especially over the last um, couple of camps that we've had, um, working out on our position um, and on the press, the triggers coming together. Um, but more importantly, when, when we do win it back, what we do next, how we commit bodies, and you bang on, you know, the fact that they're not necessarily outsiders, but people watching the game can see what we're trying to do, shows you the outcomes that we want to achieve were there. Obviously, quite a way into pre season now. How are the new signings getting on? Are they all, obviously, two trips now have? Are they all gelled? Is it all positive? Everything you like to see? They've been an absolutely unbelievable bunch of uh, lads. Um, and then when you add the, the, the characters of Josh, Brad and, and Tom into it, um, it makes it even better because the, the way they've settled in, I think they're loving it. I think, you know, I don't want to put words in their mouth and um, the, the way they've been around the boys and the way they've been in training, the standards that they set, you know, Brad's headed today, the, the, the leadership from Josh at the back, the quality by Tom Walker in, in some of the moments. The, the top players, and we knew they'd fit in anyway, you know, as individuals and in, in the team. So they've just added to an already unbelievable set of, well, we're a gang. That, that's essentially what the lads are. They're just one big gang, a load of mates that, that play for each other, um, but have got an unbelievable amount of quality as well. You know, these, these as much as I try and play the under keg, uh, underdog card, I think um, with the quality that we've got in the building, you know, people are expecting good things from us this season. No, no more than me and Burn do ourselves. So they're a top group. The, the new signings you see yourself on the, on, on the pitch uh, just made what uh, what we already had better. Um, and let me continue. If you had to take three key bullet points from the match tonight, what would you take into Saturday? Maybe not what we're taking to Saturday because we'll look for and different outcomes that. again. But um, if I, three things from tonight. I think the fact that we kept a clean sheet and kept them at bay. Um, obviously, we conceded was it four goals over the weekend. You can imagine why. You know the various things going on. Um, but to get a clean sheet against a National League side and, and limit them to um, chances was, was was what we talked about. We always look to hit certain numbers in terms of the the, the, the GPS, which. Looking at quickly there with with, with, with Clarky, we've done again. You know we've absolutely smashed it. The amount of chances we created was, was phenomenal. But I will I will caveat that with the fact that we're going to be putting some of them chances away. You know we scored a hell of a lot of goals last season, and the same players, attacking players, um, have 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 been in in the group tonight. But we we just need to be a little bit more ruthless.